Pritchard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Yo, someone there? Holy shit! Bust him up! And this is why I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. I say yes. If you're watching this, I beg you, do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything we have struggled to achieve. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years patching people back together from augmentation botch jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. You really want to help someone? Tell me where Sarah's scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen, but my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Seraph's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now, on a frequency so low your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You changed the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but my court will be a higher one. How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt. The shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. So stay alive long enough to tell him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. For years I gave him loyal service and he betrayed me. He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, he'll never be able to use me again. So that's your plan? Just lay down and die so you can't be used again? That's bullshit. You need to face what's coming. There's a very thin line between martyr and victim, Sandoval. And if you pull the trigger, you won't be remembered as either. You certainly like taking chances, Mr. Jensen. But your point has merit. Maybe I did give up too easily. Early on, I decided my life's purpose was to help people. But I failed as a doctor. Because by the time I see augmentation patients, it's too late. So I went to Humanity Front, and that wasn't improving anyone either. I was an idiot to think this would turn out differently from everything else I've tried. So you've had a couple of setbacks. Your reputation is shot and you're going to jail, fine. Killing yourself is not the way to find redemption. At least behind bars you still have a chance to help people. You're smart, healthy, and educated. You know that. Perhaps. But prison also has a way of destroying people. Huh. Some doctor. 
Some Catholic I turned out to be. Planning and participating in a kidnapping that resulted in the deaths of innocent bystanders. I am a mass murderer. My wife, I, I don't deserve her. Losing her is a just punishment, except I'm not man enough to face it. You think you're a failure, but you're not. You're just a man who doesn't understand his own potential yet. You can still channel your regrets into something positive. Be an example. Teach people why violence isn't the answer. You've suffered way too much to let all that experience go to waste. I don't understand. We're enemies, but you want me to live. I deserve to die. In fact, I welcome it. But you won't let me go that easily. You've assigned me a task I cannot refuse. Take the gun. You win. Pritchard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But, but they could be broadcasting anywhere in the world. I don't have the type of equipment we'll need to find them. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen. The riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. Looks as if the ball is now firmly in the United Nations court. This is Eliza Kassam reporting to you live from Picus. Thousands of angry rioters took to the streets in several cities this evening after viewing controversial satellite footage uncovered by PICUS. Detroit, Toronto, Mumbai, and Rio de Janeiro all report violent clashes taking place outside the doors of such... You don't need to babysit me, Mr. Jensen. I have no intention of killing myself anymore. Nor will I resist arrest when the police arrive. I assume your people have already contacted them? If they haven't yet, they will be soon. Then go. Use the information I gave you to track down your scientists. With any luck, they will still be alive. The men who kidnapped them? The soldiers? I don't know who they were. Only last names. Barrett and Namir. I sensed they were highly trained professionals. Working for who? I didn't ask. My brother, Ezekiel, put them in touch with me. Your brother? Not Taggart? Bill wouldn't be so stupid as to get his own hands dirty. I see that now. He's like Teflon. Nothing ever sticks. And moral responsibility. Looks if I knew anything more, I would tell you. The United Nations but the men who kidnapped your this people made sure my knowledge of their plans was minimal. From Picus. You ready to return to HQ? Yeah. Let's hope Pritchard's found that frequency. You said it. Hey, I got a message for you, Jensen, from Pritchard. He says he's not in the office. Great. So what exactly am I supposed to do? I don't know. He said you should check in with the boss. Seraph? David's just stepped out for a moment, Mr. Jensen. But do come in. I've been hoping to meet you. Mr. Darrow. I'm surprised you even know who I am. David speaks very highly of you. He says that when it comes to detective work, you are like a dog with a bone. Have you found your scientists yet? What else did David tell you? Over the years, plenty. But today I'm here as a friend and fellow scientist. Things are getting quite turbulent out there, wouldn't you agree? 
So many people drunk on revolution. The United Nations being urged to intervene. And all because of the technology I created. Things have come a long way since then. Haven't they? And now my old friend David wants me to lead us to the Promised Land. He's asked me to invite members of the UN to Panchea to convince them we don't need industry regulation. Your geoengineering project in the Arctic Ocean. The installation couldn't have been built without the assistance of augmented workers. And when it's finished, my little hole in the ocean is going to stop global warming. A lovely photo op, wouldn't you say? If it works. You mean, if it doesn't kill us all? Adam? You're back. Uh, can I speak to you outside? Get to the helipad, son. You're going back to Hengsha Island. Frank tracked down one of the GPLs. Only one? Is it? Sevchenko's. But Adam, we had to call in a favor of the DOD to do it. Meaning, the conspirators probably know I'm coming. You're Adam Jensen, right? The security chief here? Your men did a good job securing this building when the riot broke out. Boss said we're heading back to Hangsha? Pritchard tracks Evchenko's GPL signal. If he's alive, there's a chance the rest of them are too. That's a pretty big leap, Jensen. We've been making big leaps for a while now. Whatever you say. You ready to get going? No time like the present. Let's get going. Then hop in. Spy boy. Hengsha traffic control just revoked our clearance. We're being rerouted to another part of the city. I don't like that. I suppose you can't just ignore them. <laughs> yeah, right. Chinese government. I've got to comply. Bravo Echo Echo 008, proceeding to designated coordinates. We've got a Sam locked on our tail. Jensen, all systems are down. Hang on, we're going in hard. Jump, Jensen. Malik, we've got company. I know, but the bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay and cover you. Negative! You need to get away from here and find Dr. Savchenko. I'll be fine. You'll be a sitting duck. Maybe, maybe not. But this is your best chance to slip by them unnoticed, and you... You know it. So get out of here, Jensen. Give him hell for me. 